Uh, Neil, what did you make of it all? I thought the boys gave everything. Um, you know, they, they, they had good quality, they make the pitch big, and we had to work incredibly hard to, to contain them um, and look for our moments in the game when, when we could, you know, nick a goal or, or get some chances, which we had. Um, boys gave it everything. We'd been undone at a time when they brought on a big centre forward and we had to try and rearrange the markers um, because their number one, our number one was marking their tallest player, but all of a sudden their biggest player came on. Um, so we were trying to rearrange that, but still the lads have got to see their jobs through and, 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 and do that. And, and that's the key moment to change the game. The second goal comes from a breakaway when we've got four forwards on the pitch and we're, we're chasing the game. Um, but uh, that wouldn't have happened if we hadn't have conceded that first. But other than that, I thought we, we boys gave it absolutely everything. Today was always going to be, I think, the, the toughest of the remaining games. You only need to look at the league table to, to see that. Was it a, a question of quality, really, that just meant that they, they edged it today? I think they've got quality players. You can see that even with their subs that they brought on. They've got proven players at the level. Um, that's why they are where they are. So it was always going to be, be a tough game. But, you know, I can only look at the, the you know the effort the application uh, that my team put in um, they changed their shape from a three man midfield to a diamond after 20 minutes we had to adjust to that um, and we was getting a little bit stretched so the second half time we had a chat about that but like I say it's a set piece that's you know cost us the game um, we've been doing them well uh, up until the last two weeks and uh, now's not the time to to, to to go bad at them again um, a week ago obviously you were thoroughly disappointed by your, your players' performance and at times lost for words about it. I wonder how you feel about it today though and uh, what you've told your players in there at the end of the game. Well, they've given it everything, you know, and you know, we, we, we know at this stage of the season that at times we might lack a bit of quality or there might be a little bit of nerves or anxiety, um, but we have to give it everything and, and, and we did. And they've, they've tried against a very, very good team at the top of the league. Um, they've, they've given it everything and got caught on the break for the second goal that kills the game. Um, players are out on their feet in there. You know, we have players like Mitch Rose has been off with a chest infection. You know, he could hardly breathe at half time. He wanted to stay on, so I left him on. But as the game wore on, you could just see it was catching up with him. Kane Emmons has, has missed training with his knee. So we've had lots of problems this week. And um, But the boys all came through and got out on that pitch. And, and like I say, they've given it everything. It's hard to win games. We've only won. What is it, eight all season? So it's hard to win games, but we're trying. How many games do you think you're going to need to win of the last three? Probably two, a minimum of two. But, but um, you know, like I say, we're not taking them opportunities when it comes with the others. Um, who knows what's what's written in the stars over the next three games? But, but the one thing we know is we've got to recover really quickly and we've got to go again and we've got another opportunity to, to give ourselves a chance, you know, to, to take this down to the wire and... And, and save our season. It sounds like you've got a lot of walking wounded in there and I, I wonder if you can add Sam Stubbs to the mix because it looked for a time in that first half that he might have to, to come off. How does that, where does that leave you for Monday? Um, Kane, we've got to patch him up, we've got to have a look tomorrow. Um, but like I say, I said it before, these players have come to fight for the club in a difficult situation and Stubbs' groin was, was hanging off, uh, but he didn't want to come off. And he wanted to stay on and he wanted to give it everything. And, um, you know, like I say, that's they are giving everything and that's all I can ask and we'll, we'll try and come up with a way of, of winning the game on, on Monday. Enzio Baldwin has shown moments of quality this season and, and people have highly rated him in previous seasons as well but he's been hooked as your first substitute the last three weeks in a row because at times he looks like he's struggling to get in the game at times it, it felt like he was almost a little bit intimidated to get on the ball because maybe he was feeling the fans on his back how, how do you deal with that as a manager it's not easy uh, the players have got to deal with it um, you know you play, Enzo's the sort of player you want to leave on because he's, he's got that moment of brilliance but um, you know we in, in previous weeks we've changed shape we had to change shape down to 10 minute Northampton we changed shape on uh, last week to try and get back in the game at crew and solve the problems we was facing and Enzo didn't fit into that shape because uh, he's a winger and we wasn't playing with him and um, today we went 4-4-2 and um, we had sort of four forwards on the pitch so and I just thought it was the right call so it's just one of them things you know when you're chasing games you have to make different calls um, but he's still an important player for me. Another game down but it's still as you were because uh, Yeovil and Macclesfield lost as well I wonder how you assess the final three games now with it being as you were. Um, it's difficult too I can't worry about the opposition 
you know, that they got a win in them probably, you know, so we've just got to focus on can we win two out of our last three, can we go unbeaten in the last three games, that's what we've got to try and focus on and that's the only way we're going to save our season, um, but like I say, when you've only won eight games all season, winning's hard and uh, we've got to do all the basics right, including defending set pieces in the next couple of games and, and see if we can uh, see if we can do it. And I guess generating that sort of belief when, you, as you say, you've only won eight games all season and also correcting those errors when it comes to defending set pieces in these final few games of the season is no easy feat. No, of course not. We haven't got time. These boys are tired. We got we're in. They're in all of Easter. We're in tomorrow. We're in Sunday. We travel. Um, you know, we haven't got time to do that. We've got to come up with a, a way of recovering this group and getting ready for for uh, Monday's game to, to try and win a game of football. And like I say, I, I look for it. I wanted a reaction from last week. I got it in their effort, in their intensity. Um, but we played against a good team today and they, they punished the, the couple of mistakes we did make. Appreciate your time, thank you. Thank you.